Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Guru and in this video I'll tell you how to create some amazingly powerful and beautiful sparkling charts. So this is, see, an example I've already created. This shows that how Superman has been performing in terms of selling something. I don't know what he's selling. Uh, uh, from January to August and his data, his sales data is represented graphically in a single cell over here see it's called a sparkline chart and this is a sparkline column chart i'll teach you how to create these amazingly powerful tool so let's start all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start teaching you by how to delete a sparkline chart you can simply just select and press delete no it won't get deleted you will have to go to the design tab and click on clear that is how it would get deleted. All right. So we have taken an example of our superhero sales reps. Superman, He-Man, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor, Loki. Okay, we have Loki also selling for us. Loki, sorry. And Hulk. Okay. And these are their sales data for the month of January to August. And now we want to represent this data beautifully. Now, in, if we try to use some traditional chart, this data would look like something like this. Correct? These are the these are the superheroes and these are their sales for these months. Now, what we are going to show is something really far more beautiful than that. That's through Sparkline. So we select the cell where we want to insert the Sparkline. That is this one. And go to Insert. Go to Line. Select the data range. Now, this is the data range. Just ensure that you do not select the headers just select the data click on ok and voila the spark line is ready just copied across and now we are done now we have to beautify it now what we need to do is we need to first understand the show group if we click on the high point the high points get highlighted see and the low points again if you click over here also get highlighted now, these are two very important things you can also highlight the first and the last point but that doesn't make sense but high point and low point does you can also click on marker so every point would get high would get highlighted but again that makes it look so cluttered and you can also have negative negative points highlighted say for example i make the sales of may though it is not possible still just for the sake of this conversation minus 15 so it will go down and i'll show you how it will look like when we just do some formatting over here okay so now what we need to do is to make it look better we need to go to marker color and sorry we need we need to go to sparkline color and go to the weight section and improve the th increase the thickness of the line now we again go to design and choose and design which automatically highlights specific points with specific colors like the top points are highlighted with green and low points are highlighted with red see now our sparkline chart is ready now let us see there is something still missing over here you see this is the this number reads 4585 and this is the value 4585 but it is so low at the cell and this is 4695 say around 110 points more than this one but it is looking way up in the cell why is this happening that's because of formatting so what we need to do is we need to select one sparkline chart just any one and click on axis and in the vertical axis click on same for all sparklines again go to axis on the vertical axis maximum value again say same for all sparklines now you will see that the parity is created between this 4695 which is looking here and this 4585 which is also looking somewhere there right so this is how we created spark lines and let us now create a spark line column chart. 
Again, we select the cell, we go to Insert, we go to Column, we go to Data Range, click OK, and this column chart is ready. Now, over here, we need to go to first high point and low point, all right, and then go to marker color, and we need to define a specific color for high point, so which should be green. We should have a low point for uh, a specific color for low point, which should be say red. And the first points we should say we should be in yellow, and the last point can be in purple. So now, let's just increase the height. The spark line column chart is also ready. The high, high, the highest values are represented in green, the lowest in red, the first value in yellow. You can also make it, uh, customize it a little bit more by choosing any color of your choice over here and then just bring it down. See? Now, this is so very easy to create and so very easy to make inference from. I hope you like this video. You can go ahead and download this file free of cost without any registration at myelesson.org. Yes, I said 100% free, nothing, no obligations. And practice it along. It would make it easier for you. All right. I hope you like this video. So until the next video, this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.